Alright, in this video what we're going to do is just give a quick rundown of the software that I will be using to create this level. If you already have the three items listed on the screen at the moment, then you can skip to the next video. It shouldn't be a problem, you can just uh, follow along. I do mention some other programs that I use in my daily um, graphic design creation process. So you can watch along if you want to. If you don't want to, just skip to the next video. Okay, if you are still here, the first program that we're going to require is Blender. Now you can download this from blender.org. I will put the link in the description below. Blender is a free... 3D modeling suite or pro application. Uh, it does a little bit more than 3D modeling. It does do video editing, animation, and everything like that. It is a very powerful tool. People often compare it or say that it's not equivalent to 3DS Max or anything like that. Um, I have used Blender for years. Personally, for everything that I need to do, Blender is perfect. So, uh, maybe later on I'll use paid software, but at the current moment, Blender is perfect. I use it every day. If you want to get into some basic 3D modeling uh, and even professional 3D modeling, you can use Blender for that. So every, essentially everything that we are going to create inside of our level, like all the objects that we listed in the previous video, all of these, we are going to create inside of Blender. So... Uh, quite the most essential part of our process is going to be Blender itself. Okay, so the second program that I'm going to, well, we're going to require is called GIMP. Now, GIMP is pretty much a Photoshop equivalent. Well, not quite. It's a, I would say GIMP probably goes back to when like Photoshop was like in CS2 version or CS3 version, so a whole bunch of years ago. Um, I personally would love to use Photoshop, but I get by with GIMP. Let's just say that all the features that I use inside of GIMP um, or I would use inside of Photoshop, I can use inside of GIMP. There is nothing that I at the current moment do um, for my design uh, jobs or anything like that that I would require specifically a feature that only Photoshop has. Photoshop might make it a bit easier but you know you can get by with GIMP. With that said there's two things that you would need to install or that would just be handy to have if you have GIMP. Um, you need to just look up the normal map plugin and then the layer effects plugin. I will put the links to both in the description below. The normal map plugin is very fussy on my computer. It crashes quite often, but the layer effects, I did do a video before where I used all of these effects and uh, it's absolutely essential. This actually is one of the features that is like default in Photoshop and uh, you got a nice uh, person that wrote a script for it. So. Thank you. I can't recall his name, but link in the description below and uh, you can go check it out. Okay, and then the final program that we will, will require is obviously Unreal Engine 4. If you do not have Unreal Engine 4, then you can use another program like Unity, but everything that I will cover, like um, all the materials that I will create, I will do inside of Unreal Engine 4. Unreal Engine 4 is free, so uh, go give it a download if you don't have it. Um, as I said before, you can use everything that we will we'll create will be primarily created inside of Blender and uh, GIMP. So if, all those objects should be able to import into Unity 5 or any previous version of Unity with relative ease. It shouldn't be that difficult to get it in. So um, if you want to use Unity, uh, if you know Unity, you can still follow the the whole design process and then just uh, do your imports and everything for your models inside of unity itself okay with that said there's just a, a few other programs that i just want to give a quick uh, mention um the first one is let's just see if it will run there we go uh, x normal x normal allows you to make uh, normal maps or any other map from a high detail 
model to a low detail model so you load the low detail model and the high detail model and it works relatively well you can do the same thing inside a blender but X normal sometimes it it has different maps and things like that which you can use um, let's just see baking options here and um, it's relatively quick to to bake all the details as you can see here's all the different maps that you can bake with it so um, if uh, we're not going to use it in, in this tutorial but it is a good program to have so it's also free so you can download that another one is MeshLab MeshLab I use to decrease details sometimes in different types of models I don't use it that often so um, it is also freely available so I just thought I'd give it like a nice shout out then the last program that is it the last one yeah I believe that it's Okay, it's not quite the last one yet. Um, Sculptress. Now, Sculptress has been in the Alpha 6 version for like ever. So, I don't believe they're actually working on it anymore. I don't know. But, um, it essentially is what uh, ZBrush would be or ZBrush would be uh, if you like broke it down into its very very most basic form so you can use this to like sculpt details um, you can also use blender but uh, ZBrush actually works very quickly for uh, larger models so it's it's not uncommon for you to like jump into bring your model in here sculpt it quickly and then import it back into unreal um, not unreal into blender and then further work on it and uh yeah so this is a very powerful tool and then just one last program it's not actually quite relevant to what we're doing here now but the last program is obviously inkscape um also freely available i have used it in other videos so if you saw those videos um yeah you know what i'm talking about if you don't there it is so uh, this brings us to the end of this video so um I will see all of you in the next tutorial. Uh, if you did like what, what, what I did here, you can leave a like, you can leave a comment, please subscribe, and then um, yeah, we'll continue this course in the next video. I thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.